I love that you can ask literally anyone here, bust to Kanye, and they'll either tell you exactly where it is or they will take you. No way. Bus. That's amazing. And they won't expect money. I am immortal. I'll never fade away. Yep, today is July 28th and we are, well as you can see it's hot out here but I'm wearing my jacket anyway because we are going to, what are we going to, what is that called? A wedding? The wedding's on Saturday. Oh, uh, it's the, it's the, uh, the dowry ceremony. The dowry, dowry, dowry? Why I mean, can't I say that? It's English. Yeah, dowry. It's called Labola. La it's called Labola, which is a dowry ceremony in which they... Why don't I'll just, just let Charlie explain it. Okay, let me finish putting on my shoes, man. You can explain why you put on your shoes? Okay. Time management. Woo! Man, I thought we had this whole talk about how time management <laughs> wasn't important. Slow life, being less Western. Um, today, the uncles between the two families will be negotiating the price of the uh, labola of the of the bride. So essentially, the husband's the husband has to give the his wife's family a minimum of eight cows, usually for this tribe. But the uncles will be negotiating how many cows if they've had children outside of marriage. It's a cow for each extra child, plus uh, just extra perks of buying a jacket for the uncle, or doing the fence, or anything like that. Um, and traditionally it's uh, meant to be like uh, a sign of respect that bringing the, the wife into the husband's family, um, and because you're taking that child or that woman out of that house, uh, you need to like compensate that family. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see that. Turns out you had to be married to go to La Bola, and none of us were, so instead we played croquet. Lots of croquet. Apparently in Swana weddings, you don't have to be invited to the wedding to go. You just show up. And everyone did.
And of course, the bride and the groom insisted that we be in their wedding photos. Congratulations to the new couple, whom of which I haven't the slightest idea their names or who they even were. But that's Botswana. Legacy that lives beyond the